DJ ATV. with your travel ban, says UK, as federal government revenges those countries who placed Nigeria on red list. This is TGM TV Daily News Update. The United Kingdom, through its ambassador in the country, have said that it will not change its mind concerning the travel ban placed on Nigeria and the red list that Nigeria belongs to, even if Nigeria decides to place it on the list of nations banned from entering its borders. According to Dan Orlock, the British High Commissioner, he said that despite the fact that the Nigerian government is trying to revenge by adding UK and Canada as well as Saudi Arabia to its list of countries banned from coming into Nigeria, as announced by Hedi Serika, the head of aviation, he said that the UK has made it very clear that a travel ban will be different for the year as the government stick to its standard background lines. According to him, he said, the UK government proposed sticking to our standard background lines on whether X country puts us on the red list and avoid getting into hypothetical situations. The UK government has been clear that travel abroad will be different this year and countries may impose border measures at short notice in line with their own coronavirus policies. The statement by the UK government is coming after Nigeria places travel ban on UK, Canada, Saudi Arabia, amongst others who place Nigeria on their red list. According to the Presidential Steering Committee on the COVID-19, they announced that the federal government's placement of these countries on a red list is because of the ban that these countries placed on Nigeria as well. The federal government's presidential steering committee said that this is the federal government's way of retaliating and protesting against what it called blanket restrictions on Nigerian citizens over the spread of the Omicron variant of the COVID-19. The placing of the United Kingdom, Canada and Saudi Arabia on Nigeria's red list is coming after a lot of calls by Nigerians were made to the federal government to place these countries on travel ban if they will place Nigeria on their red list, then Nigeria should do the same to them as well. This is still DJM TV Daily News Update, your one-stop channel for everything news and gist happening in Nigeria and all over the world. If this is your first time of coming across any of our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now let's move on. It will be recalled that when news first broke out that the United Kingdom had placed Nigerian and some other African countries on what they called a travel ban over the Omicron variant, a lot of archery trailed the news as a lot of countries and international stakeholders said that the ban on Nigeria and other African countries by the UK is racist and discriminatory. As a matter of fact, the UK had said that they had 21 cases of the Omicron variant of the COVID-19 recorded to travelers who entered into England from Nigeria. And also the Minister for Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, had said that it was discriminatory, unfair, punitive, indefensible and unjust. Also, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Most Reverend Justice Welby, also said that the United Kingdom inclusion of Nigeria on its red list without any justification was what was better known as travel apartheid and it should be scrapped. But after this criticism and outrage trailed the UK placing on Nigeria and other African countries on their red list, the United Kingdom refused to remove Nigeria on their red list and in retaliation, the federal government of Nigeria placed 
the United Kingdom, Canada, and Saudi Arabia, as well as other countries, on its own red list, saying that until these countries remove Nigeria from their red list, that nobody travels to Nigeria from those countries. While some persons are concerned that placing Nigeria alongside other African countries on the red list of the UK is racist and discriminatory, Nigerian human rights activist Deji Adeyanju of the Consigned Nigerians have said that he is very concerned about medical tourists from Nigeria to the United Kingdom, including the president of the country, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired, and he said that these travel restrictions slammed on Nigeria by the United Kingdom will affect those whom he described as medical tourists. Deji had said that placing Nigeria on its red list by the United Kingdom was not a call for panic, but those who were on medical tourism will be affected the most. According to him, leaders of Nigeria and people who always travel to these destinations for Christmas are those who will be affected the most. He also said, I believe that Nigerians will be most hit by these policies. Some of the people who are traveling for medical tourism among the political elite, like the president who is a perpetual visitor to the United Kingdom, will be affected, but Nigerians will be hit most by these actions. This is still DJM TV Daily News Update, your one-stop channel for everything news and gist happening in Nigeria and all over the world. If this is your first time of seeing any of our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Now, moving on. A lot of Nigerians, especially the political elite who frequent the United Kingdoms, have been projected to be affected most by the red listing and the travel ban placed by both the UK and Nigeria on its sales. Now, according to Deji Adeyanju, he said those who usually go for medical tourism, like President Mohamed Buhari, the president of the country, and Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, as well as other politicians who like to seek medical attention outside of Nigeria because of lack of modern equipment, failure of federal government to pay doctor salaries, amongst many others which have marred the Nigerians, etc., will be affected most by this travel ban. In the recent reaction of the United Kingdom to Nigeria placing it on its red list, the United Kingdom have said that Nigeria placing it on its red list will not make the UK go back on their words and no matter the threat by the Nigerian government, the United Kingdom's border is closed to travelers from Nigeria until the situation improves. This is still DJM TV Daily News Update, your favorite channel. Now, a lot of Nigerians have reacted to a Nigerian government placing the UK, Canada, and Saudi Arabia, amongst many other countries, on its red list. Now, some Nigerians are saying that the federal government is doing this to the United Kingdom. They are shooting themselves in their legs because at the end of the day, they are still the ones who travel for medical tourism. They are still the ones who go for trainees in these countries, not the common Nigerian. And so the federal government should call up the travel ban that it is placing on Canada, the United Kingdom, and Saudi Arabia, as well as other countries, which the country intends to place on their red list. While there are others who say, if the United Kingdom think they can place Nigeria on the red list, then Nigeria can do the same to them. After all, nobody is above the law. Now, while there are some other group of Nigerians who are seeing this as child's play, they have said it is only children who said, because you did this to me, I'm going to do it back to you, ignoring the consequences placing the UK, Canada, and Saudi Arabia will have on the economy of Nigeria. But there are those who have countered this last set of people saying that health is wealth and no amount of economic gain is worth the risk of not placing these countries on red list by the federal government. So guys, this is still DJM TV Daily News. Update your one-stop channel for everything news and gist. What are your thoughts concerning this issue we just brought you? Drop them below in the comment section. Thank you so much for staying with us till the very end of this video. Do not forget to go a step further if you have not done so please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Also do not forget to like and share this video. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and also check out our website at www.djmtv.link Guess what guys, from the 1st of August 2021, 
DJM TV offers you an opportunity to report your event from where you are on our channel. We call it Report Yourself to the World. You want to be a part of this great program? Then please click on our bow, send us a message, and we'll give you details on how to report yourself to the world. They are coming away again with another exciting edition of DJM TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Laburu Faith. Yeah! DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. 